If you want to learn everything about WhatsApp newsletters, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will dive into the world of WhatsApp newsletters and show you why WhatsApp newsletter is a huge opportunity for your business, how to create awesome newsletters on WhatsApp, how to promote your newsletter and more. Are you tired of sending out newsletters that end up in your customer's trash bin without even being open? It's not just you. The average consumers receive at least 10 newsletters a day. And let's face it, they delete most of them without reading it. This is what happens when your audience gets so many marketing messages on a specific channel that they get overwhelmed and stop paying attention. It's time to break through the noise and switch to a channel that hasn't been saturated yet. And that's WhatsApp. Let's start with the basics. What are WhatsApp newsletters? A WhatsApp newsletter is a bulk message that you can send to a large audience to share information or promote a brand, service, or a product. Often a newsletter is built up out of multiple short messages that follow each other up in a flow. Let's get into why WhatsApp newsletters are such powerful tools for businesses. WhatsApp has over 2.4 billion active users worldwide. And aside from using WhatsApp to talk to friends and family, people are now also using it to communicate with businesses. This means that a big part of your target audience is most likely on WhatsApp too. The average of WhatsApp user is very active. 80% of all WhatsApp messages are read within five minutes. We all know this is far from the truth for email newsletters. For a long time, email was the most popular channel for newsletters. Of all marketeers, 33% send emails to customers on a weekly basis. Of all those marketing emails, only 19% get open. And from all those emails, so many only get open to be deleted seconds later. Email is simply too crowded for businesses to stand out. This means there is a huge opportunity for marketers who pivot to WhatsApp to send their newsletters. The choice is yours. Spend hours optimizing your emails, hoping your opening rates will go up by one or 2%, or switch to a channel where there is no competition yet, such as WhatsApp, where an email newsletter is almost always a long message that is sometimes broken up by images. WhatsApp newsletter is made up out of a flow of short messages. Customers are taking through a flow of multiple messages by clicking buttons. This makes for a fun and interactive experience and invites the customers to start a conversation after reading the newsletter. We can best explain this with an example. So we created a WhatsApp newsletter for Booking.com. In this example, an existing customer is receiving a newsletter from Booking.com via WhatsApp. The newsletter is built up out of a short messages that are triggered once the receiver interacts with it. Once they click destinations, they can choose out of five options to learn about. When the customer wants to learn more about Lisbon, the customer receives some tips about to-dos in the city. After that, they can choose to learn more about the tourist attractions, the best hotels in the city, or what a tuk-tuk is. This flow can go on for as long as the customer wants. If the customer just wants to learn a bit more about Lisbon and fantasize about future vacations, they can. If they want to take action and book a hotel right away, they can do that too. Now, let's talk about the software you'll need. If you want to send WhatsApp newsletters by using regular WhatsApp business app, you will run into issues fast. The biggest issue is that your customers will need to add you to their contacts in order to receive your newsletters. This can be a huge hurdle if you want to grow your newsletter. To send newsletters via WhatsApp the right way, you will need to use the WhatsApp Business API. The WhatsApp Business API helps businesses to market to their customers in a professional way. It doesn't come with its own interface and it can be only used via an official WhatsApp Business Solution provider, such as Trango. Amongst other things, the API enables you to send out newsletters to a large audience, reply to incoming messages with a team, automate repetitive workflow, such as answering the FAQs, categorizing messages, or assigning a message to an agent, get in-depth insights into your newsletter performance. We have added a video that explains the most important differences between WhatsApp Business App and the API in the description. Important note for you, to prevent spam, WhatsApp introduced the 24-hour rule for businesses. This means a business cannot send an outbound message 24 hours after the last interaction with a customer, unless they use a pre-approved template message. These template messages can be personalized by filling in placeholders such as customer name, product name, or date and time. This means that in order to send a newsletter, you will have to use a pre-approved template message. Here's an example of what such a template could look like. All right. Now that we've talked about the technical side of the setting up a newsletter, it's time for some tips on how to create a newsletter that leaves a lasting impression on your subscribers. 
First, you need to get a good understanding of your audience. Regardless of the marketing channel you decide to use, understanding of your audience is key. Before sending a newsletter, ask yourself the following questions. Who are they? What are the problems that you could help them solve? What are their interests? Why did they sign up for your newsletter? Especially the last question is key. When you sign up for a newsletter to get some exclusive content, that's all what you expect. If you get a lot of product and discount promotions instead, you'll be disappointed and opt out fast. In the end, it's all about understanding your customers and crafting the right message that truly really speaks to them. Tip number two, keep your messages short. Whatever you do, please don't copy paste your email newsletter into WhatsApp. One of the biggest mistakes that marketers make is not adapting to a new marketing channel. A video that goes viral on Facebook may get zero traction on TikTok. An email newsletter that had a high response rate may not work on WhatsApp. Don't make the mistake of writing one piece of content and distributing it by copy-pasting into all channels you're active on. It simply doesn't work like that. So don't do this, but do this instead. Here, the text of the email newsletters was copied, but made interactive in a way that works on WhatsApp. Tip number three, encourage interaction. The true power of sending newsletters via WhatsApp is the ability to interact with the receiver after you hit send. Here is a real life example of what such an interaction looks like. This is a simple question, but more than 90% of our newsletter subscribers have already replied to it. It provides valuable insights about them. Below is an example of a subscriber explaining their reasoning for signing up. Tip number four, define a goal and pick CTA. Before putting pen to a paper, you should know exactly what you want to achieve with your newsletter. Once you have defined your goal, you can pick a CTA and reverse engineer the content towards to that CTA. If your goal is to get a short-term spike in sales, you may simply want to send out a discount code. You want to keep it simple and add a CTA that doesn't beat around the bush, such as buy now. On the other hand, if your goal is to inspire subscribers with this year's trend in your industry, you may want to send them an interesting piece of content instead. Whatever you decide to do, try to stick to one or maximum two goals for your newsletter. Effective marketing is most often clear and concise. Tip number five, add media and emojis. WhatsApp users often use a lot of emoji and media to communicate with their friends and family. So you should too. It's important to keep the tone of voice consistent with your brand, but you should also adjust it based on the channel you're using. Trying to maintain the exact same brand style on every channel isn't effective. When sending WhatsApp newsletters, you can be as creative as you want. The sky is the limit. Tip number six, give your subscribers a chance to opt out. I know you don't want your customers to unsubscribe, but opt outs have some advantages. First, you'll prevent people from reporting you as spam. Second, you will show that you value your interactions with them and respect their personal space. Additionally, in the confirmation message, you can request feedback on why the recipient is choosing to unsubscribe. This feedback can be valuable as it can provide insights into why people no longer find your newsletter content valuable or relevant. Before you can send out a newsletter, you first need subscribers. Luckily, there are endless ways to promote your WhatsApp newsletter. First, you could set up a click to chat link that sends your customer to a WhatsApp conversation with you with a pre-filled message such as, I want to sign up. All your customers then has to do is hit the send in order to opt in. You can add the link to your website or turn into a QR code and add it to your printed marketing materials. From there, options are endless. You could send a small card with a QR code with every order you send out, just like our customer Parfumado. Print business cards with the QR code, buy a billboard on Times Square, or you could even create a QR code crop circle to attract alien subscribers. All right, all right. That might be thinking a bit too big, but you get the idea. The options are endless. Before we end this video, I have a little gift for you for making it this far. Sending newsletters is not for the faint of heart. It's challenging. One click on that send button and your message goes out maybe hundreds or even thousands of people. We get sweaty palms by just thinking about it. But you know what makes it even more challenging? Lack of guidance. Having to reinvent the wheel that's why we have compiled our best of best WhatsApp marketing templates just for you, completely for free. 
All we ask is you scan this QR code and sign up for our WhatsApp newsletter. That's all. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about WhatsApp newsletter, check the description below. I see you in the next video.